In today's video, we take this stock steering wheel out and install this bull boost steering wheel with working horn. Let's go ahead and get started. God bless you and welcome to Texas Auto Channel. If you're new here, please consider clicking that subscribe button. So in today's video, I'm going to be installing the bull boost steering wheel. I really like this steering wheel. Uh, they have a lot of other steering wheels. I really like the designs of them. I just didn't like the part that said heartless. That was like the only part because I'm not heartless. I love everyone. So uh, this steering wheel is really cool. We're going to unbox that in a moment. I got energy quick release and then just a cheap steering wheel hub adapter. I'll link everything here in the description. Also some Oxido uh, LED lights, really nice, really bright. Those will also be linked in the description. But we're gonna go ahead and open this and then we'll get started with the install on the EP3. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Now these are pretty good priced as they are. You can actually use that discount code and save yourself a little bit more money. Their steering wheel designs are actually pretty cool. And check it out, they gave some really cool stickers. I really like that. So we're gonna have to find a place for these. And as you can see, it is wrapped pretty nice and neat. It has their little logo on it. Definitely pretty nice. I'm gonna go ahead and get this open. And there it is, look at that. That is awesome. Super nice quality. Has a little angry looking bunny there in the rising sun. Black and red. Real nice quality through and through. Has the horn button and it actually says bull boost on it. That's pretty awesome how they're putting their logo on like everything. It's really cool. Very neat and the quality seems pretty sturdy. Doesn't want to bend. So it actually seems like a pretty good quality of metal. Uh, some of these cheaper style steering wheels a lot of people will call this a cheap steering wheel they usually bend real easy if you just pull it together um, but this one's not doing that i really like that and uh yeah it has all the hardware that i need right here for the hub adapter so that makes things even easier and it came with wiring and an allen wrench so we're gonna go ahead and get this attached to the quick release hub real quick Okay, I didn't think about it. We actually have to go to the car first and find out where the up position is gonna be. Then we can install the steering wheel. So we're gonna go ahead and go to the car and get the factory steering wheel out. All right, step one, you're gonna wanna disconnect the battery post because we will be messing with an airbag and we do not want that to go off. All right, moving on to the inside, we have the back side of the steering wheel right here. I'm gonna go ahead and remove that panel and we will have access to these star bits up here. So if you don't have a security bit set, I definitely recommend going and grab one. AutoZone, O'Reilly's, Advanced Auto Parts, Napa, all these places usually carry it. Um, and then we've got the airbag clip here, which is a spring-loaded little clip. You can see it goes down and just disconnects. It's really, really simple. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove these screws that are on both sides and uh, we'll get the airbag taken out. All right, after you get both of the bolts out, you're gonna wanna disconnect this connector here. Then the airbag is out. Now, before we go any further, make sure your steering wheel is perfectly straight up and down. You don't want it to be kind of sideways while driving. Next, we're gonna undo this connector here, and then we're gonna take this 19 millimeter bolt, uh, get it loose, and then we have to pull the steering wheel out, which can be kind of hard. Hitting on the backside helps, but if you have a steering wheel puller, it'll come right out. All right, that actually wasn't too bad on this one for whatever reason. But uh, now that we've got the steering wheel off, one thing to keep in mind, you will lose the cruise function unless you somehow take this bracket off and makeshift a cruise button, which is possible but I'm not too worried about that. We're gonna go ahead and get all this taken care of. All right, next thing to do is undo the screws that are right here. All right, now that you got the clamshell off, the next step will be to remove the clock spring here. We're gonna go ahead and undo it from the bottom there. After that, there's a Phillips head screw back here you can remove. Pull this whole assembly away to make this part a little bit easier. You come right up under that little connector. 
then you can remove this whole clock spring. Now you can't undo this connector right there unless you go down here to this and then it removes. Now make sure to tighten that Phillips head screw back down so that this is nice and solid again. So now we have the actual hub here and as you can see there's this piece on the back that is for the contact um, for the horn. Now on this connector here there's two orange wires and you're going to want the orange wire that is just solid orange wire. It's There's no other color on the wire. Um, we're going to tap into that. That is the horn one. And once we tap into that, we're basically going to either use this hole or this hole. And we're going to have a piece of metal coming off of it, which will make contact with the back of this. And that will activate the horn. So it's just basically going to be rubbing right here. Um, as you can see this has notches and I will link this one in the description. It's not an NRG one It's just an off-brand one, but it seems to be really nice quality and it was pretty cheap uh, We're actually going to slide that on You can see those notches line up with that piece of plastic back there What that piece of plastic is is the turn signal. So if we turn this you can see that and Then whenever we turn it up it shuts that off so we want to keep that there so our turn signals automatically shut off because I've seen a lot of Hondas where they don't do that and it's really annoying. You have to manually do it. Um, a lot of people don't even use their turn signals anyways, but I recommend using these. All right, so basically what I'm going to be doing is using this wire looped with a washer and a screw. We're going to be going into this hole. It's a pre-existing hole. Um, we'll be able to just thread this in and it'll work. We'll basically bend this tab up and then connect the other wire to the orange, solid orange wire. All right, now we'll slide this on and it is making contact with the back plate here. So, there we go. Now you can do this many different ways. You can use just something like this or you can just get a piece of brass. I prefer you use brass since this is brass. That way it doesn't make a lot of noise, uh, metal to metal rubbing sound. Um, but this method should work pretty good. So we'll find out. And uh, now we just got to take this little piece off here, bolt the hub in. And before you do all that, make sure your steering wheel is perfectly straight up and down. Okay, so this orange, solid orange wire on the outside edge there, we're going to go ahead and trim that wire because that is the horn wire. I recommend using some heat shrink and actually soldering these connections. I like to go over it with a little bit of electrical tape just to be super cautious. The reason I do that is you don't want this to ground out while you're driving and then not being able to shut your horn off. So with that, it should be good to go. We're gonna go ahead, hook the battery up real quick and test and see how it does. So it definitely works. I'm gonna go disconnect the battery again real quick and then we'll get this put together. So with these NRG uh, quick releases, there's actually a little dot right above the NRG logo. You're gonna want that straight up. Next, we're gonna put this part on. You can see that little dot is facing straight up. So that's where we're going to align this with. All right, I connected that center wire there to the yellow one. That black one doesn't need hooked up since so that little piece of metal right there will actually slide in kind of at an angle like that. Hooked up the battery to test it and the horn works. So I'm going to go ahead and get all this bolted together. All right, there it is. Looks really nice in here. Uh, the only complaint I would have is this NRG quick release makes it stick out way too far. 
So I will probably remove that, which will bring it in just a little bit more. Uh, I definitely don't have any issues with it touching the uh, turn signals, that's for sure. Um, I like the fact that the horn works and it just looks really nice and it feels really solid. It doesn't feel like a cheaply made steering wheel. So I'm going to go ahead and get the rest of this cleaned up. It's kind of a mess in here and then uh, we'll see what it looks like without the quick release up. Okay, so I went to take this off and just put it on the hub, but I have too short of a hub. Uh, this is a short hub for a reason. It's so that it doesn't stick out as far with quick releases, but it's unfortunately too short. As you can see, that bolt uh, protrudes just a little bit past the surface, so I can't put the horn button in. I could technically bolt the steering wheel on, but it wouldn't have the horn button. So what I plan to do is just order another hub, but this time it won't be a short hub, and then I will bolt it directly to it, because I do think it just sticks out a little bit too far, uh, personally. But otherwise, it's pretty good. We're going to go take it for a drive real quick and see how it feels driving down the road. All right. I really like how this steering wheel feels. Even though it's kind of far forward, it's still not that bad. I actually think I could get used to it how it is. But overall, I am pretty happy with how the Bull Boost steering wheel feels. So, I highly recommend it. Link will be in the description. But I gotta go to the store real quick, and then we will head back to the house and go over more. I hope you guys are enjoying the video. Okay, so there it is for the Bull Boost steering wheel install it is a super nice quality i am so impressed with it definitely want to check out their website that will be linked in the description and use the discount code more 10 to save yourself some money at checkout on all items uh, i also went ahead and installed some of these oxido uh, leds really bright not a cheap quality at all i'll also have these linked in the description as you can see the before uh, park lights and brake lights and stuff like that they were kind of dim and dull and then after all the LEDs have been changed in, so much brighter and LEDs are a little faster on response. So you can tell they're brighter and they come on a little bit quicker just by a millisecond or so. Um, but they're definitely bright. I really like them. But yeah, definitely recommend these Oxido LEDs. I'm going to install these into the wife's MDX. These are just bright white. I need to get some bright white ones for the interior of this one as well. Um, but definitely recommend this brand of LED if you guys were wondering. Um, but yeah, that is basically it for this video. I hope this video was entertaining or helped someone. Uh, it's definitely coming along with the EP3 build. If you didn't see the previous video, I got the uh, wrinkle red valve cover installed. I uh, got the max peating rod stereo installed and all the other things that we've been doing on this channel and my other channel, More Motorsports Garage. Uh, and also one reminder, there are still a lot of good people left in this world. And if you can't find one, you should be one. Uh, that's just a little word of advice that was passed down to me. I figured I'd pass it down to all of you, and I really hope you guys enjoy the content. But that is basically it. I'm going to go ahead and get off here. I hope you guys have a blessed day, but before I get off here, I just wanted to let you know this. Before I get off here, I wanted to mention there will be a free Gideon Bible download in the description for Apple or Android. Uh, everyone should know the Word of God, what Jesus came to do. He came to save the sinner and set the captive free. He died for you and me, went up to that cross, died and defeated death three days later, rose from the grave, and now has the keys to death. Anyone who believes in his finished work at the cross will be saved. If you have addiction or bondage or anything that is holding you down or you don't feel loved, God says he loves you, so much so that he gave his only begotten son. And we are saved by grace through faith, lest any man should boast. So it's not of our works, it's of our faith in Jesus and what he did. So I just wanted to let you guys know the good news, that everyone has a chance. So repent, turn from your sin, and trust in the Lord. But that is basically it for this video. And until next time, God bless, stay safe, stay awesome.